Okay, so we're going to look at the introduction to statistics. And the first question obviously would be, what is statistics? So what is statistics? So um, statistics is a science of collecting, simplifying, and describing data as well as making inferences. This is decision making. Decisions based on data analysis. So what you do is, in statistics, you collect data, simplify it, and then give you the descriptions or the properties, and then analyze, and then you make a decision. Now, there are two branches of statistics. Um, that is descriptive statistics and and inferential statistics So descriptive, in the very definition of, of our statistics, when you collect, simplify, and describe, that's descriptive. You go on and make decisions based on that analysis, that's inferential statistics. So a descriptive, someone that deals with uh, collecting, simplifying, and describing data. And then inferential, this one involves uh, drawing conclusions. That is making decisions. based on data analysis. Now what's important is after you have defined statistics and its branches, the very important thing now would be the terminologies used in statistics. So terms, the first one is the population. So if you look at the definition, you collect data, you simplify. So you're collecting data from something. So you're collecting data from the population. So the population is the entire collection of all the elements. you are interested in. Examples here could be students at UNSA, uh, could be, uh, could be footballers at Zambezi Hostel. Within UNSA, 
So it could be anything. Okay, could be the cars in Osaka. Pick anything. That would be a population. Provided you're picking everything in that area. Then second, this is now where we base our study in population. For the, uh, from the whole population, we use a sample to give us an understanding of the population. So what's a sample? This is a collection of some some of the elements from from the population. And then the third one would be the parameter. So we have population and sample. So when you make a decision about the population, if you're making it numerically, then you are using a parameter. So this is the numerical value of the population. And then you pick a sample from the population, make a decision for the sample before you go to the population. The decision made for the sample is what you call a statistic if it's a numerical value. Of the, of the sample. So let's look at uh, two examples. So example one, the problem estimate the age of older students. So, so that's the problem. So now I want to look at the population, the sample, the parameter, the statistic from this problem. So what would be the population here? Of course, it will be ages of all UNSA students. That would be the population. Then the parameter will be the average age of all the UNSA students. And then the sample. So a sample, since you want the, since you want to estimate the age of all UNSA students, you may not manage to pick all the UNSA students. So what you do, for example, is you pick, uh, uh, you pick some basic students. You pick uh, Manasa. You also pick October and use that. So that would be a sample. So for example, it will be open. You can choose any population there. You could as well go for years. Maybe you, you choose fourth years, maybe and first years. You do a study here. And then you'll be able to tell the average age. And that would be a sample. But what would be a statistic? So this would be the average age of your sample. So you pick the sample, say Zambezi, October, Manoasa. The average age will be the statistic. You use it to give the average of the population, then it becomes the parameter. So sometimes you may get that uh, this, uh, the statistic is the same as the parameter, depending on, on your population and the sample that you have used. 
So the second example will be from the tutorial sheet. So tutorial sheet one, question one. And aware that 45% of the 20,000 voters in his constituents uh, support him, a politician decides decides to estimate his political strength so a sample of 200 voters shows that 4% support him. A, what is the population? So what would be the population here? State its value. So state its value. So the population here is the number of voters in the constituents. So it will be number of voters in the constituents. And the value is 20,000 voters. B, what is the population? State its value. I mean, what is the parameter of interest? State its value. So the parameter of interest would be the unknown character of the population. Simple. Parameter of interest is the unknown character of interest. The unknown character of the population. And the value is 45% of 10,000, which is 45 of 100 by 10,000. This is going to give us 9,000. Waters. So that would be the parameter. Then see what is the statistic. So the statistic of interest in here, it will be the non correct. of the sample. So what we mean by non the sample? So he has taken 200 voters to check how men support him. And he has found that 40% of the 200 supports him. So its actual value would be 40 of 100 by 200, which is 80 voters support him. So this would be the statistic. 
So first, it is the known character of the sample, which has picked. So has picked the sample and discovered that 40% of it supports him. So it becomes the statistic. Numerically, it's 80. So 80 voters. And then D, will the, uh, is it surprising to find that 80 is not the same as 9,000, meaning that uh, the parameter is not the same as the statistic? Of course not. It's not surprising. So we're saying no. Okay. Is it possible that if we change the, the sample, uh, the parameter will change? The parameter won't change. It will still be 9,000 from the 20,000. But the statistic will change depending on the sample. Because what if in the trend that he picked, he went for the constituents, I mean, he went for the word where he has no support. So he, he could go for another word where the whole word is his stronghold. And he can get 200. And notice that the whole 200 supports him. Or what if they lie that they support him in the whole 200 and they find out that they, are, they lie that they are supporting him. So he will go back with the wrong information. So the statistics can, I mean, the statistic can change depending on the sample. And so we're not surprised that it's not the same as the parameter, but the parameter will be fixed because it has to do with the population. Thank you. So in the next class, um, we'll look at sampling distributions, random samples, how to pick the samples and the like. Thank you.